Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I've always told I had a voice radio, so today I'm going to be showing you a brand new Pokemon card. It's Dalmise, which is a little bit depressing, what with it being Demise. Hey ho, that's what they've named it. Now I like this Pokemon, it's cool, it's a ship's wheel, it's a ship's anchor, it's a Pokemon. And it's a pretty gosh darn good card. So, let's have a gander. Psychic is good, means you're hitting for weakness against things like Espeon GX, Mewtwo, Persimian, etc. Although you're not doing great damage. Weakness to Dark is a problem because of the popularity of Pokemon like Eveltal and Umbreon. Resistance to fighting, I mean resistance is always good. And of course, being a basic Pokemon, you can whack a fighting fury belt on here. So he's got 160 HP. Now being a basic also means you can use Nest Ball here. Search for him, pop him straight on the bench. Being a basic nowadays is pretty good. Now the retreat cost of two, I don't usually mention the retreat cost, but it is relevant for Dalmise because quite frankly... It's got a retreat cost of two, which means you cannot just retreat with a basic energy. And this is a Pokemon, as we're going to talk about, which is largely just going to be sitting on the bench. Now, you can use Altar of the Moon as Stadium coming in Guardians Rising along with this card that does give free retreat when you have a Psychic Energy attached. The problem is, as we're going to talk about, you're unlikely to be playing Psychic Energy. Now, if you are playing Psychic Energy, the attack is very meh. It's a Psychic and a Double Colourless, so I could suppose you can use Double Colourless here, although arguably a waste of such a valuable card, and you're hitting for 70 damage. Now this will get a one-hit KO on Persimian, which I suppose is good, and if you pop a Fighting Fury Belt and a Professor Kukui here, you're hitting for 200 and will one-hit KO an Espeon GX. And if you pop a Professor Kukui down, then you are hitting 480 with weakness, which will one-hit KO a Mewtwo. Not great, but it, it's got some utility as an attacker. The attack isn't garbage here but it's overpriced and only situationally useful. Now there is a secondary effect of the attack, it does stop your opponent retreating on the following turn, and this can sometimes be useful. I've spoken in the past about this effect on Gabite's attack and on the new Beware's attack, and it, it can be quite good. You can buy yourself a turn by forcing your opponent to stay in the active with something, I don't know, maybe you Lysander up something like a Shaman or just anything that can't attack, hit it, force it to stay in the active and then you buy yourself a turn of course with shaman they can sky return maybe they've got an escape rope that they can use to get out the active or an olympia there's plenty of ways to get out the active but they've still got to have them you can buy yourself a turn maybe even get a two hit ko with something here that isn't weak to psychic not a terrible attack just not really amazing but it's the ability here we really like. It allows all of your metal Pokemon to do 10 more damage. And because it just works when it's in play, it means you can sit him on the bench and this can stack. So you could have four damn eyes out and then you're actually doing an extra 40 damage for your metal Pokemon's attacks. And, and I've said this in a few videos, let me say it again. Doing extra damage is always good. Check out my video on Choice Band where I talk about this. Have a look at the popularity of Fighting Fury Belt or Muscle Band when it was legal or Crobat G. You get the idea, ladies and gentlemen. Doing extra damage is always good. And it does help you hit the numbers here. Now, let's take some... Some popular metal Pokemon. Let's have a look at Mega Sizzle. Mega Sizzle does 120. Little bit awkward. One dumb eyes on the bench. You're doing 130. You're one hit KOing Pokemon. Stage 2's like Greninja, for instance. Four dumb eyes, and I'm assuming it's pronounced dumb eyes because it's Hellman Demise. And you're hitting for 160. Which means three of these and a Professor Kukui, and you're hitting 170 and getting a one-hit KO on an Eveltally X with Mega Sizzle. And Mega Sizzle, ladies and gentlemen, wants to be able to one-hit KO an Eveltally X. 
Now they can play Fighting Fury Bout, but then again, you can play Ratata. So we've all got options here. The other one I really like here is Solgaleo GX. Now the attack generally does 230, which might seem like an awful lot, but it's actually not always enough here. So you get four of these, you're doing 270 quite nice. You get a Kukui as well, and this attack is doing 290, and you get to one-hit KO a Fighting Fury belted Wailord. Yeah, they are not used to getting one-hit KO'd. He will not have quite such a delightfully happy look on his face then. But the beautiful thing here is, although you can play stuff like Professor Kukui, you won't always have Professor Kukui. You won't always be able to use it because you might need more than two cards for the turn. You might have to play a Sycamore. You might have to play a Lysander, etc. Having Dalmise on the bench means that you don't need to worry about this. You can just know you're doing the extra damage. Need to KO an Incineroar GX? 230 isn't enough. You need to do 250. Two down mys and you're there. Need to KO a Decidui GX? Well, 230 isn't enough, but a single down mys, you're hitting 240 and you're there. And I know these are situations where you could be using Professor Kukui instead, but the point here is you don't have to search for it. You don't have to use it as your supporter for the turn. You can just go. Now, one other fun use could be using the Cabalion from Steam Siege. Revenge Blast does 30 damage plus 30 more for each prize card your opponent has taken. And here you can just build it up a little bit quicker. Now, if your opponent's taken five prizes, you're hitting 180, you're one hit KOing the exits. But if they've taken four prizes, you're only actually hitting 150. But stick down three down eyes, now you're hitting 180. So the numbers here, and I've given some examples, there are probably more and there will probably be more released in the future. The point is, this will help any metal Pokemon hit the numbers they need to hit. It will lead to two hit KOs turning into one hit KOs. It will mean, oh, I can't quite take the last KO to win the game, becomes, yay, I've won the game, are you proud of me yet, mummy? Are you proud of me yet? Now, there is one huge downside to Dalmise, and that is that it is an ability. And it's on a basic. So not only will it be turned off by Garbodor and Hex Maniac, but being a basic, it will also be turned off by Silent Lab and Alolan Muck. So you have got to be careful. These cards, aside from Alolan Muck, but that will see more play in the future, especially when Garbodor rotates. These cards are everywhere at the moment. Ability lock is huge, and this will be an issue. So yeah, this ability can be turned off. But when it's not turned off, oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, this is awesome. But this card, it's got a decent attack, it's got nice stats, but basically here, it's got a brilliant ability. Metal Dex will want to use this. It's not got much use outside of that. It could be an attacker in its own right, but it's a little bit expensive. The ability alone, though, makes me give it... I think a good solid free Wassies. And to be honest, it might even be a little bit better than that. But let's not go crazy today. Now, you know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. There is a comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. There are bosses to both like this video and subscribe to this channel. I would be delighted if you'd use them both. You can follow me on Twitter, at the Wassy. And the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.